Hello and welcome to Wellzo. In this video, we will be discussing the results of the tiredness and fatigue test offered by Wellzo. This test is designed to help identify potential biomarkers related to symptoms of fatigue and tiredness. Let's begin with iron. Iron is an essential nutrient required for the production of hemoglobin in red blood cells. Now hemoglobin helps carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. So low levels of iron can lead to anemia, which can cause fatigue and weakness. Next, we have ferritin, a protein that stores iron in your body. So low levels of ferritin can indicate iron deficiency, which may contribute to feeling tired and fatigued. Transfer and saturation measures the amount of iron in the blood that is bound to transferrin. This biomarker can help identify if there's a deficiency in iron. Total iron binding capacity, or TIBC, measures the amount of transferrin in the blood that is available to bind to iron. If TIBC is high, it may indicate deficiency of iron. Moving on to vitamin D, which plays a vital role in maintaining strong bones, muscle and overall health. And low levels of vitamin D can be linked to fatigue, muscle weakness and low energy. TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone, is produced by the pituitary gland and stimulates the thyroid gland to produce hormones that regulate metabolism. High levels of TSH can indicate an overactive thyroid which causes fatigue and sluggishness. Finally, we have HSCRP or high sensitivity C-reactive protein, which is a biomarker of inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation can contribute to fatigue and tiredness. So in summary, this tiredness and fatigue test determines the various biomarkers that could contribute to your symptoms, such as deficiencies in iron or other vitamins. It's important to speak to your healthcare provider to determine what steps to take next based on individual results if anything is out of range. Thank you for choosing Wellzo for your health needs and we hope you find this information helpful. Please remember, if you feel unwell or have worrying symptoms, it's important to discuss these with a suitable health professional.